Hello everyone, welcome back and welcome to viewers to some more Stormworks. Today we are back working on our SR-71. Uh, we got some things done last time. We actually got the front section done, which I'm uh, halfway pleased with. Uh, let's go ahead and let's, let's jump down. Uh, we did do the uh, the front section and we started working on the nose here in the underbelly and I just didn't like it where we finished off. Uh, we kind of got some of the top done and I'm uh, kind of okay with that, but a lot of that's going to change uh when we start working on the ca canopies when they open and stuff uh but yeah this under under section here was just not uh i was just not feeling it uh we did get refueling done uh which is really cool so that works that's in there uh but i wanted to uh i kind of wanted to fix this uh and so i ended up doing this i ended up fixing this but the video was way too long it was literally just a video of me fixing the nose i ended up trying several different times and i just it, i struggled with this you guys and for some reason i could not get this shape correct but i did finally get it uh i did finally get it and it's over here and we'll look at this uh, little build here so we still have a couple little places where it doesn't line up but it is a lot smoother and it gives us that profile that we are looking for so i think that looks a lot better and i think that's a lot nicer especially when we start painting this black it's gonna you're not gonna notice it at all but i'm wasting time let's go ahead and jump in let's grab this thing i want to make these uh i want to make these cockpits open and i think that's actually gonna help our seats out a little bit so let's go ahead and grab this let's jump in the workbench and let's get started all right grab this here all right so the problem that i'm having right now is that these windows are too or the seats are too low in here and they need to be like one block higher, but they don't have a whole lot of room to work with anyway. But if we go one block higher, it clips with the windows. So I think how we're gonna resolve this is we're actually gonna start with the canopies open and then maybe have these close in on this. I don't know if that's gonna help or not, but we're gonna, we're gonna try this. At least we're gonna try it. Uh, otherwise, we're just gonna go with the fact that the SR-71 pilots just didn't have visibility at all. And yeah, that's something they have to deal with. Uh, so I think what we're gonna do, let's go ahead and, uh, how do I wanna do this? I guess let's start cutting this stuff out. Uh, we need to get this out. This little section here can come with us. And then this little section here. And I think that can be our back canopy. That goes like that. Yeah, I think that could work. And then something right there maybe. Although if the pivot is here, or is the pivot here? Well, if the pivot's here, it's gonna be exposed. So the pivot needs to be back one. I think we need to do it there. I think that's right. So then what we could do is we can come in here like this. These, uh, these two pilots were separated. You know what would help? Mirror mode. I always forget to put mirror mode back on. So let's fill this in like so. And there's a little extra block there. We'll fix that. Perfect. All right. Now our co-pilot goes back here. He can't see squat. That's okay. And there's actually a lot of room in here. Um, I think we could probably close some of this off like that. That's fine. And then there's probably some, uh, some control panels on the sides there. Probably the same with our front pilot here. We could, uh, box some of that off we can come in here and just kind of put our little side rails there for our controls and then it looks like it's gonna here somewhere and we'll just have to figure out how to uh make that look nice uh we're focusing on the uh the cockpits so let's do that uh, i think all we're gonna need is this section here maybe that section how's that look Ooh, okay hmm so i'm not sure where this needs to go because i need my pivot to be way down here so if that is here that's still not gonna close right. I think I need to grab all of that. I knew I was gonna struggle with the with the canopy here, uh, but we will get it done. I, I know it can get done. Um, that goes like that. That could go like that maybe. Oh, we're, 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 we're nipping into our, uh, our co-pilot's space here. And actually that needs to go down in like that. That can close. Oh, I don't know you guys. I don't know. It could go there and then there. If the pivots, oh, you guys, I don't know. I don't know. Um, let's do this. I'm going to, I'm not sitting here for five hours. We're gonna paste that back. Let's make this one work right here. So let's get a pivot. Okay, that can go there like that. We'll fill that in. Those two are now merged together. Let's get ourselves a switch box. We can just put that like right there. Let's get ourselves a toggle. We would just put that for testing. We're just gonna stick it in our co-pilot area for now. I'm gonna call this canopy. Push button two-sided. I did not want that. I want a toggle. Canopy. Pretty sure that's not how you spell canopy, but that's all right. It, uh, we know what it is. Uh, so this is going to go for a switch box and our switch box is going to go to here. And I'm pretty sure this is already set up for us. One and zero. Perfect. Um, yeah. So what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to go ahead and turn this on so we don't have to do this and then we can just spawn this and see how it works. All right. Not going to lie. That actually worked quite well. Uh, that, that went really snug in there. Okay. So the back seats, uh, back seats pretty good. Uh, the front seats, I think it's going to be our harder, uh, our harder option here. So let's go back to what we got cut here. Let's clear that. I think I think we're back to this piece and that sits right there as far as how it rotates. Hmm. 
Is there another position that we could put? Can we put it like here and then here? Would that work? That might work. But then if we, oh, we're gonna need, hmm. I need to get to here, because that's where our pivot's gonna fit, right there. So maybe if I can come out and attach to the block like that, but where do I put this? Like right there? I think this is wrong. Hang on, let's, uh, I just, you know what? We're gonna test this. Let's paste that. We'll put that there, that, that. Let's merge this. Oh, nope. Put the blocks on the right parts. I'm pretty sure this is not gonna work, but I just wanna see how it actually closes up and then we can figure things out. It's so hard when things are vertical. Okay, yeah, so we were, we are one block too forward. So we're one block too forward for this application. So if I go back to there, paste that, do I then make all this part of that? Does that all go like that then? How's that gonna look when it closes though? That gonna look all right? That is 100% wrong. Should I merge that with that? I think I should. Okay, so it still does the same thing. I'm still one block forward. Um, what if I put these two pieces with that? Okay, I think we might figure this out. So I think if we go like this, we add one more block to this little piece here. So that's our door for the back. We can get rid of that. Okay, I wanna see what that did. Okay, perfect. So that actually filled that in that gap. All right, but it didn't fill in the gap that I needed to fill in. Oh, okay. So this needs to go down by one. Clear, cut, down, paste. I'm gonna merge you with you. And please tell me that works. Oh, that worked really good. Let's get in the seat and try that again. Okay, can it be open? And we're, our center of mass is like the middle of this vehicle here. So that was kind of hard to see. Um, let me do this. Let's hook you up to the seat. Now we can see this a lot better. First of all, let's get a look at it there. Nice. We can get in here and we can get up close where we can see this, this front section open. Look at that. Little bit of a... Uh, Little bit of issue there. That's that's not a problem. We can we can kind of do like our landing legs where maybe the back one will open first and then the front one will shut first so that we won't have that uh we won't have that issue. But we've we've got it figured out. Okay, can we actually move our seats up by one now? That is the question. Uh that was why I wanted to do this, and I don't know if we're gonna be able to do this. Uh let's start with clear. I cut you. I'm gonna move you up by one, paste you, give you something to sit on, merge you with that. I'm gonna do the same thing here. I guess I could have just replaced these seats. There's not many things connected to them right now. Paste. I don't know why I'm concerned about the uh, the co-pilot. He literally had no visibility other than looking at the sides, but we're gonna see what these do. Does that cause any problems when we close? Uh, back seat looks good. Back seat's fine. They can stick their head up in there and see, but it's this front seat that's causing problems. Why does that work, but that doesn't work? What if we change the windows out? But what if I know they weren't like this, but if this is going to be something that actually helps us fix this problem, then that's what we're going to do. Uh, let's try those windows. Okay. Wow. That actually made it so it's snug in there. I've struggled with this. Actually, I, I'm not going to lie, guys. I tried this before making this video and I was struggling to even just just by moving the seat up one. I was struggling to figure this out. So we are going to be stuck with a little black bar across this little area, but our pilot is actually going to be able to see out of this thing now. Um, so I think, yeah, I think that's a better compromise for this build i think so let's uh let's grab it again let's come up to here and let's look at a picture of a cockpit real quick all right i'm gonna do my best you know what? okay for the sake of this let's get the seat out of here so i can actually see what we're doing uh we're gonna do the floor and actually let's go spacesuit i want to paint this thing orange outfit exploration space uh this should be what we need for these pilots there and we can do one under this seat as well. That will be for our co-pilot. There we go. And they will be able to grab those when they get into the vehicle. And I'll, you know, I'm gonna flip this over so they can actually see it. You can't see the spacesuit. How are you gonna know it's there? There's that one and that one. Now, can I put the seat back on top of this? I don't think I put the seat back on top of that. Anyway, let's, uh, this is what I wanna focus on. Let's get back to our, our white color here. I've got a picture of the cockpit up. We're gonna do our best here to get this the right way. Uh, let's see, first I'm gonna start off with a artificial horizon uh, and it looks like there's one right here in the center and then I'm gonna go for a ball a compass ball this can go right there in the center like that and then we got two dials kind of like on this side there's a smaller dial so we're gonna have a, some struggles to kind of get some of these done uh, but I think I can kind of mimic most of this there is another uh, dial here I think this is our I think this is another compass. I could be wrong. I think this is another compass. We got a couple dials on the sides here. 
There's not one. Oh, there is one there, isn't it? And then it gets into like the smaller instruments, which I just noticed that we're not gonna be able to do one there. Now we're restricted to here, which is fine. Uh, we can do some down on this row here. I think there was, let's see, there's some here. There's some here. Whoops. And there's like a gap there. Then there's some here. And this kind of goes back a little bit. Uh, let's see if I can get in there and fix that. I think it's something like that. It's kind of, just kind of sits back a little bit. We'll just do that like that. Uh, on the sides here, there are a ton of switches as well. Looks like we've got a throttle on this side here. There's our throttle. We've got our yoke in the middle. And there's another, I don't know what this is over here. There's another, uh, another like joystick on this other side here. I'm not sure what that is. Uh, or just keep, keep going here. I'm gonna grab these instrument panels. There seems to be some switches down the sides here. I don't know if we can reach that far. Uh, so I'm just gonna put switches here. Uh, we probably will eventually need something. Uh, if you guys have any idea what a lot of this stuff in the cockpit is, please let me know. I'll be happy to uh, try to get it a little bit more accurate. But again, you guys are gonna end up with this on the uh, workshop, so you guys can do whatever you want to with this. Inverse, go ahead and uh, make that nice and neat there. Can we get rid of that? Does that, uh, sure. Sure, why not? Let's do that. Okay, now I think our seat's not gonna fit in here because it won't attach to that. It will attach to that. That puts us too far back though. Okay, gotta delete that. Gotta delete all that. Okay, let's get our seat. I think, oh, I don't know. Does our seat go there? Does it? I don't know. That puts them behind the, uh, where they can see. I can reach all but this, this last section here and that's why I didn't do it over there. Okay, yeah. Got a little problem with the corners there. We can get rid of those so you don't have to see those. Everything else is fine. Oh, I'm so ready to get this thing started up and going. We're so close, we're so close. We've got throttle. Oh, okay, so a lot of these are gonna end up instrument panels, so that's gonna control our canopies, things like that. Oh, dude, we're getting so close, we're so close. Okay, back seat. Back seat has some of the same equipment, but not. Um, see if we can get in here. All right, let's get ourselves some monitors, because I know like in the back seat here, like right here, there's one monitor and then there's another monitor that goes like here and it's a, it's a square monitor but we don't because of the build we're gonna put a two by three in here for the sake of that and then i think we've got some equipment here we've got a couple dials there there's a small dial there and then it looks like kind of like right here there's some more dials so instrument and then there's like a lot of switches and stuff that we can figure out, but this is just to help us get laid out what we need. And this one goes here and then we get some regular dials. Now I have no idea what half these dials do. Um, we're just gonna start guessing. Um, unless somebody in comments is like, it's this, it's this, it's this. And then we'll, we'll definitely try and uh, hook that up. Um, how are we looking here? We can just, let's fill that in. And we can put some stuff down the sides here because I do have a bunch of buttons on the sides for this co-pilot and honestly i don't think we need to go any further than back to there and even that's like really far back i don't think we even need to do all that uh we could hide a lot of that with another little wall here like that and then we'll just uh we'll just hide all that sure that should work nice we've got a bunch of switches in here we've got a bunch of controls let's put a bunch of buttons in here i'm gonna take mirror mode off just because every now and then these instrument panels like to get a little reversed we'll do something like that like that and like here and those can be buttons and all kinds of stuff this one here i could not reach so we'll just get rid of that we can fill that in cool just like that uh maybe i'm 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 jumping the gun here maybe and i know they had them but uh maybe we could come up with some sort of uh ejection seats uh for these guys uh that would be super awesome that means we'd have to change a lot probably uh which i'm not excited about but it is a possibility and we could get it done um let me move this microcontroller here I'm going to come back here. We're going to put you with your friends in the back. All right, paste that, merge that, so that done. Yeah, I'm up. I, I actually didn't think I was going to be getting this to work. Um, I'm super excited about this. Can I make this look nicer, though? Inverse, uh, mirror mode, and then we can do like that. Maybe like that. Nope, that's not what I wanted. It, it went too quick, like that. That actually looks a little better. I think that could work, and then we can do something like, like that right there. Yeah, sure. Let's spawn it one more time. Let's take a look at it. See if it causes any problems. Okay, so those blocks have to be, uh, they can't be there. Good to know. All right, so which ones were clipping into the seat? Uh, it was these guys here. I think that, uh, that fixed it. Did it? It sure did. Nice. Okay, so we got landing gear. We got our cockpit. We got a little bit of the cockpit laid out. Uh, I didn't even want to get that far today. Uh, but we did, uh, and that's actually pretty good because that means that we can move on to throwing some more microcontrollers in here and getting our system set up, our lights, 
uh, getting our engines cranked and then going on a test flight. Uh, we are very close to finishing this thing. I'm so excited. Uh, is there anything else that we can get done today besides breaking our legs? Um, nose is done. Seats are done. A little bit of the interior is done. Fuel management's done. Those are done. Uh, I could fix this little back section here and these little control surfaces, but I feel like all the control surfaces are going to change once we start test flying. So I really don't want to get involved in those just yet. So yeah, think. I think we're going to end it here. Guys, thanks so much for watching. I appreciate you. We are getting super close to finishing this thing up. Uh, if you guys have any suggestions, please let me know down in the comments. I'm happy to try them out. Happy to give them a go. This build is for you guys. And yeah, we will see you guys in the next one.